arrest your desire to share premature announcements ruins results premature announcements ruins results arrest your desire to share arrest it a lot of times god is trying to do something for you but you talk so much so much like you just can't hold water you can't hold water you ever meet those people where they haven't even reached the parking lot yet and they're already telling you that they're almost at the parking lot can you just get to the lot before you announce it arrest your desire to share now i've changed a lot at my age now and a lot of people have noticed that my parents were talking to me about that the other day they said that you know we don't really ever know what you're doing we kind of like find out about it at the last minute or you just don't mention it or i think privacy is sexy I do. I love holding my mystery. I love not having to involve anyone too much in what I'm doing. Privacy is sexy, especially with dating. Make let let people think you're single. Let people think you don't have anyone. Let people think that your business isn't isn't moving. Keep them in the dark. <laughs> They're not changing nothing. Arrest your desire to share. Before you share something, ask yourself, am I telling this person more than they need to know? Like, is this necessary? Like, me telling them this piece of information, is it going to drastically interfere with their life? Like, is, is it necessary for me to share it? Like, is it necessary for me to tell it? Like, you got to start asking yourself that because a lot of times... We're sharing and telling people things that do not need to be shared or told. (laughs) And it's funny to me when that happens because I always tell people like, you do know that you don't have to tell everyone every move you make before you make it, right? There's power in arresting your desire to share because you don't have to describe a discrepancy you don't have to explain a discrepancy you don't have to explain to someone why something didn't work out or how something did work out um that's why i'm very well i mean you guys will probably agree to disagree with this but i'm very not interested And, like, I would never post a lover. I just, I don't know what it is. I just, I love people not knowing what's going on in my personal life. I I love the freedom that it comes with because you don't have to explain anymore. You know, the more you, you let people in, the more you tell people, the more you share, the more explaining that you're going to constantly have to do when you can kind of just take the lesson, take the win and take the L in private. And now you don't have to have the pressure of explaining, oh, this is why it didn't work out. This is why this happened. This is why that happened. Oh, this didn't work out. And I just, I don't know, you guys, like the older that I'm getting, I just, I don't know. I just want to rest like my energy. I just want to rest. I don't want to be in chaotic, hyper-stimulated, over-stimulated, where I have to explain this or explain that or explain my decision to this person or explain why I'm doing this to that person. I just want to rest. I'm in my resting season right now, energetically and spiritually, where I am just balanced. I am resting. I don't feel the need to share this or talk about that. I am just in my element, floating, happy, balanced, resilient. I feel good. I've never felt, I haven't felt this good in a while. Like I am resting. I am focused. I know exactly what I want. 
and I'm doing what's necessary to have it by any means necessary. I am grounded. I'm helping the masses. Life is good. What do I need to share? Life is good. I'll share that. I'll share that life is good. And and to God be the glory and God will continue to get praise for what he does in my life and in you guys' life. There's nothing to share. A lot of times people don't even people don't even really care if I'm being honest. Some people are just like people some people they just competing with you. And, and and you think they're checking in because they care, but they're keeping score? They're keeping score. And and you're thinking that, oh wow, this person really cares about how my business is going. But they're really comparing your business to their business. They're comparing your business to theirs. And they're calling you to find out if it's going quickly or if it's it's if it's if it's increasing. And it's if it's increasing because because they want to make sure you're not surpassing them. That's why you got to arrest your desire to share. Because the minute you share something, it can and will be used against you at the right time. That's why you have to only share with people what they need to know. For example, you don't need to tell anyone you just landed another job that pays 30K more than your old job. You don't need to tell them that. Let them think you're still working at your old job. Why do you have to share it? Why? Do you, why? you don't need to share. Okay, now, every time I open my mouth, I always ask myself, do I need to share this? I always ask myself that before I share something. I ask myself, do I need to share this? And if I share this, what could the possible consequences of me sharing this information be? What are the possible consequences? That reminds me of a situation that happened when I was in high school. There was this guy that I really, really liked. He was older than me. And I used to speak to my mom about it all the time. And my mom used to say, okay, if you like him, that's fine. Like, but just make sure you don't tell anyone about it. And I said, why not? And my mom's like, because especially when it comes to men in relationships, people like to meddle their way into those kind of things. That's why people got to, you got to keep your marriage private, your relationship private, what's going on with you and your boyfriend, you and your fiance, a lover, someone that's, you're getting ready to go after. Like, you know, don't, don't infiltrate people into that part of your life. Cause people are very meddlesome. People are very meddlesome, men or male or female. They're very meddlesome. And you just don't need that extra energy being released onto what you're doing. So, and you don't want people to start cursing it, you know, and that's also something that I spoke about in the spiritual warfare class. You know, people can curse you indirectly, right? They can curse what you're doing. Oh, that's never going to work. Or that's not, that relationship's not going to work. Oh, that type of guy would never want you. Like, you got to be really careful with what you allow people to say, because our word is our wand. Okay. I learned that from Florence Slovel Shin. Your word is your wand. There is a book called Your Word is Your Wand. I definitely recommend that you guys read it. Your word is your wand, meaning your words are creating your life. And so are other people's words, which is why people can speak curses over you since you're a child. You're not going to be anything. You're going to turn out to be nothing. You're not going to get anywhere in life. And when you become an adult, that's actually what's happening. Because you didn't even denounce those words. Like me, I don't allow people to speak negative over my life, which is why I don't share things with people because I'm not going to give you the dominion to open your mouth and curse what I'm doing. There's a reason why I don't share. There's also a spiritual reason why I don't share because people will open their mouth and just spew out negative hate on whatever it is that you're doing. That's another reason why I don't share. But back to that story, my mom was like, you know, don't tell anyone, you know, this and that, don't tell anyone. I ended up telling this woman that I thought was my friend and I didn't like, I felt it, but you know, you're young. She was so jealous that this guy desired me. I could tell she was envious because, and I'm going to get back to the story, but I'm going to talk about to black women for just a second. Everybody should be arrest their desire to share, but black women in particular, 
I always tell you guys, society feels like black women don't deserve anything. And when I say society, that's black, other black people included. Because when I say, you know, black women to move in silence and not say anything because society feels like you don't deserve anything. When I say that, a lot of black women think I mean non-black women. No, black men and women in your community as well. I include them in the same group because they will try to dismantle you and come for you as well, if not worse than the others. Okay, so I always tell black women to not share because society feels like black women don't deserve anything that's good. Only what's bad. Like you can be with Pookie and Ray Ray, but not the lawyer. That's how they see it. So because I was younger at that time and I didn't know any better, the guy that that desired me from that time when I was in high school, he was already out of high school and college, was a Middle Eastern guy. And I could tell and this is what people do to black women and I can't stand it. That's why I'm so different. And I made that video on I'm kind, not nice because of just the things like the way that people could get straight up nasty when it comes to a black woman's life. Do you know that this lady, there was this other guy that was trying to pursue me, but he fell into the Pookie Ray Ray category. And she was telling him me, I think you should date him. I think that's the one you should give your attention to. I don't think you should give your attention to the Middle Eastern one. And she started tearing him to shreds and making up lies and, because she just didn't want to see a beautiful black woman with a man of means and a man who's proper. They always want you in a circumstance that's negative. They want you to date the guy that has seven baby mamas. They, that's why I say black women have to learn how to stop sharing with people. Stop sharing. Stop sharing because they always want to see an African-American woman in a circumstance that is negative. That's why people loved it when Rihanna was dating rappers. But when she was dating that that prince, people didn't like it. They want her to be with the rapper. They, do, they always do that to black women. So arrest your desire to share. Everybody, male or female, before you share something, ask yourself, do I have to share this? Is it important? Is it necessary to share? Do they need to know this? Ask yourself that. Because the majority of the time, what you're getting ready to share doesn't affect their life in any way. So therefore, they don't need to know it. 